Welcome back to another trading video guys. I'm your market analyst Adam Karlberg and today we're going to be having a look at the price of gold. So in the last few weeks and months even, gold has seen quite a large resurgence. After a big sell-off and a break of its long-term range, it has finally started to ascend back towards 2000 US dollars per ounce and this has largely been on the back of softer inflation figures and CPI figures in the states and hope that the Fed may hope that the Fed may revise its rate cuts and pivot towards a more dovish route in order to help the economy through a potential recession and also a weakness in the US dollar. So as we move over to the charts, what we, we can have a quick, uh, we can have a good look at a long term prospects for gold. So as we stated in uh, just prior, we've got this long term range. Just over here and even prior to this um, this was more uh, specifics of our range and we were unable to break through that $1,660 mark and we bounced back up and we bounced through broke through both the 50 week average and the 200 week moving average and it's pretty choppy up here because you can see the price is going up and down 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 so now, um, one thing we notice is the RSI is extremely over, uh, getting to an extremely overbought level to a, a point that we actually haven't seen really since the first year of the pandemic. And at that time, the price, when it broke out through this RSI above the 70 level, it came straight back down. So what this indicates is perhaps we are, um, you know, we may be due for a pullback. Although at this point, we've still got some fairly strong um, buying candles. We've had one, two, three weeks. So perhaps again, rule of three, we may be due for this red week. We've started a little bit slow here, um, but of course, there's still um, five days to go. And we are at this kind of one of these uh, resistant points at $1,918, $1,918, dollars So, you know, we're testing almost that top 25% of this general range and looking for a pullback soon. Now, as we move to the daily chart, just to see a bit more, um, we've got a golden cross over here, a really positive sign going forward. And as I said, we've got these two big market structures at the top of the range, just above um, $2,050. So we've got this kind of psychological target of about $2,000, and this is probably um, if we see a pullback, which would not be unexpected, perhaps we see it to $1,900 or even $1,850, um, it wouldn't then surprise to see the price go on and then test the top before coming back down. It would really take quite a powerful um, positive catalyst for the price um, to break through $2,000, $2,080. So just be weary that you know, we are still in a lot of chop and, um, you know, in order to break this top of the range, it'll require quite a lot of, um, you know, some positive macroeconomic factors. But in the meantime, just be watching for a potential um, medium to long term short. Um, you know, if we do get to the top of this range, um, but before that, you know, that swing lower before another move up. In the short term may be an option so what we'll do is we'll just zoom into the we'll zoom into the four hour chart and we'll just see what potential short kind of entry options we have so as i've said we're looking a little bit exhausted we've seen our first bit of selling perhaps we come back and test the 50 50 period moving average which has been a pretty significant um support so far as you can see, all these times we've tested it, we've come back, set that stop loss reasonably, um, give yourself a bit of room for that stop loss. And then that target perhaps is up here at 2000 in the short term. So we'll go back to our long. Say we enter here, put our target all the way up at 2000. And we can put our stop loss. Let's just go. 
we can put it almost below this week here. So you see, we've still got almost a two and a half to three times risk reward for this trade. And as I've shown you guys, there's definitely opportunities to go long and short on gold if you can be astute and really aware of the macro news. But there you go, guys. Thanks for watching and good luck trading.